Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. This is our last episode for season one, and I do not believe how fast time went by and what a great time we had. I want to say a big thank you to all of our viewers. We hope that you all are having a wonderful holiday season with all of your family and friends. And it has been my pleasure sharing my experience moving from the United States to the Dominican Republic with all of you. Next season, I'm going to introduce you to many, many more Americans living here in the Dominican Republic. First, I want to say a big thank you to Shanna, Tammy, and Sheila for helping me to launch my show. And they have a few words they'd like to say to you. Hi everyone, it's Shane here from the Ebony Ladies in the DR. Wanted to just wish you guys a very happy holiday season, give you guys a really quick update, and just say a real quick hello. So, hi everyone, I hope that you guys have been tuning in every Tuesday and Thursday right here on YouTube. We've loved having you and we've loved sharing ourselves and our experiences here in the DR. We hope that you guys have been inspired. Each of us has been inspired by you. And we hope that maybe some of you guys will plan some trips, will come and visit this beautiful country that we all love so much. So again, just wanted to wish you guys a very happy holiday season. You guys know I just had my wedding. It took a lot, a lot of time and a lot of planning. Anybody who's been married knows that planning a wedding is not easy. Um, and I had less than four months to do it. But we did it. It was fabulous, you guys. We did a little bit of filming and we showed you a few clips from the wedding um, in the last in one of our last episodes, so I hope you guys tuned into that. But as you can see, it was a fabulous event. I had the time of my life, and I'm so glad that you guys could, in a way, be there with me. <laughs> anyway, I have so many things planned for 2020. I'm getting my New Year's resolutions in order, and I hope that you'll continue to follow. You guys have been fabulous. We've enjoyed having you. And as always, besos. Happy holidays. Hello, hello, hello to all the fans of the show. It's Tammy here, one of the Ebony Ladies in the DR. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been happening over the last couple months. So I am not in the DR right now. I'm actually in the US in South Carolina, just on holiday leave. So I am spending time with my family. I'm getting to see old friends and uh, taking care of some business also while I'm over here in the US. And so I hope to see you all back in the DR pretty, pretty soon. I hope you have an amazing end of the year and just want you to know we love you and we thank you again for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. Bye. <laughs> Now, everybody, Tammy is back in the Dominican Republic. Hi, Tammy, and welcome back. You will be seeing her again on future episodes. And as time permits, Shanna will be co-hosting on various topics. This next season, I'm going to continue to show you about life in the Dominican Republic and answer as many questions as I possibly can. Ebony Ladies in the DR is a show that was created for everyone, regardless of race or gender. I created this show to assist those thinking of moving abroad, as well as those still trying to get acclimated into their new culture, like myself. I'm super excited about season two, which will begin to air on Thursday, January the 9th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on YouTube, and that's right on Thursday. So now, the show is only going to air once a week on Thursdays, because look, who knew being a host and a super producer was going to be so much work. So with that being said, I do have to send a big thank you to my husband, Davlin, for assisting me in getting this show off the ground. Davlin has become quite the photographer, videographer, editor, okay? He wears many hats. So I want to say thank you. I love you. Thank you for doing everything that you do because without you, this show would not be able to go on a weekly basis like it's been going. So a huge thank you. And I hope that you will continue to be a part of this amazing team that we've created here.
Oh my gosh, I was overwhelmed with joy and laughter. I was surprised. I was okay. I'll put it this way. I had an idea because the more I started seeing people that I know here, or I realized more of my friends were gonna be on the trip. I was like, I don't think this is just a birthday party. <laughs> but even with that, I was still surprised at how he did it, and I didn't expect him to do it like that. It was amazing and beautiful, and it was perfect. <laughs> So everybody, I wish you a very safe and happy, happy new year. And take a few minutes, relax, sit back on the couch, and enjoy some of the funny moments, oh, some of the funny things that went on with Ebony Ladies in the DR this past season. See the celebrations, the birthdays, the wedding. So sit back and enjoy some highlights from season one. And I love you and thank you again for viewing Ebony Ladies in the DR. Adios, mis amigos. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Ebony Ladies in the DR. This show was created to shed some insight into our lives as black American women living in the Dominican Republic. Oh, she's such I a changed sweet my mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we would you. not be here if <laughs> this didn't no, work. Exactly. This works. <laughs> not that we have any problems in the bedroom, cold shower action stuff, but because the water heaters, you know, people say, you know, when you have, you know, when you get to, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. You know, horny people have to take a lot of showers. I know that. Well, I, okay, I'm old. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I still feel weird saying that. Saying that. Um, but I met my husband here in the Dominican Republic because he is a Dominican. <laughs> he is um, he is an amazing, amazing man. I came to the Dominican Republic on vacation for my birthday <laughs> a year and a half ago, minding my own business um, <laughs> and met my current boyfriend. They thought that I was going to say that I was getting married. Uh, 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 or pregnant. Okay. And so they were kind of yeah. like, huh? And then they were like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. no, so she the one that's not dating. No, she's not no. her. But I don't know that that is the typical the Dominican. Typical Dominican. Ah, okay. So I just got a, a good one. We just got. <laughs> one. <laughs> so let me ask you. I have a question. So what's a a typical first date with a Dominican man? I mean, are they trying to wind and dine you like the American man? How long do Dominican men wait for sex? I mean, is that will they try to have sex with you on the on the first date, or is it just a man within a the man? first it's, hour? Oh, y'all! Within the first conversation, <laughs> absolutely. Like, oh, y'all! No. I'm Tammy from South Carolina. <laughs> wait a minute. We can start over. <laughs> start over. <laughs> Sorry. I said I was in front of my eye and, and I was like, wait a minute. she looked this way. Yeah, she yeah, pointed. Was she pointed. <laughs> I don't think yeah. any of us can deny that. But what are some of the things that we miss? Right, yes. I'm, I'm excited about this because yeah. I have a list. I know. Well, <laughs> well you're, she, you're the newbie, so, so yes. She got a long list. <laughs> a long list. <laughs> Because once we're all fluent in Spanish, yeah. we can make that phone call, you know. And I've mm -hmm. learned that when I call in, like I had to call Claro, and I asked for an English speaker. But I did my best in Spanish until, okay. you know, it just got to the point where I think she was tired of me. Because I, I got all day long, you know, yeah. trying to get through. And, yeah. fit, you know, you figure out my words. But she finally was able to find me an English speaker. Yeah. And she came up with the umbrella. And no, but this was not an umbrella. This yeah, was a like, beach. Yeah. yeah. It's a a huge beach umbrella, it's pretty. A blue. beach shade. Right, beach shade. She's riding. No. You know, and he was like, "This is life." Just you being know, the good take boyfriend, care of my baby, life. right? And so I loved it. Because today we're going to be talking about something very important um, that's really been on my heart, and that topic is racism and colorism in the Dominican Republic. My experiences before I got here, same thing. People were saying that they didn't like black people, but they were referring to 
like black Americans mm, specifically. Really? The biggest thing for me, I mean it might sound really crazy, with cultural shock was going to pay my bills and they wouldn't let you pay the bill. Because mm. you, they don't let you pay bills early. early. Oh. At all. This was another culture shock moment for me. How did you feel the first time you saw an entire family on a bike? On a <laughs> when we say bikes, we mean like motorbikes, Motors, okay? Motors. Like I'm talking dad, mom, uh, like four-year-old, and the baby in the front, you know, right. like on one bike. This was a great discussion. <laughs> we can talk about this all day. We got a lot of calls to so we just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into our conversation. We are the Ebony Ladies in the DR. We are here every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. on YouTube. Please come back, join us again, and remember, everybody can have a machete. <laughs> you can have a machete. You can have a machete. Listen, if you come to the DR, I'm in the DR. And I'm here. Your very own Ebony Lady Bridget, that would be me, turned 50 yesterday. That's right, the big 5 0. Yay! I'm 50. I'm 50. I'm 50. So you have to watch the video to see what I, how I celebrated my 50th birthday. Uh, Happy 50th birthday, flying high in the sky. <laughs> Bueno, Bridget, feliz cumpleaños. Estamos muy agradecidos de que has formado parte de la República Dominicana y bienvenido a tus 50 años en República Dominicana. Happy birthday, Bridget. We, we almost got. Well, yeah, on the 100th, I will. I'm going to hire a band on her 100th birthday. She gets a choice of the OJs or the Temptations. Up to Bridget. I'll pay for the whole damn thing. Right here, 50 years from now. Okay. And I expect everyone to be here. <laughs> any stress when you're here in the DR? Mm, the most stress I have is if I'm going to come to this beach, Playa Barbaro, or go to the beach at El Corte <laughs> So I'm sorry, I don't have any stress right now. Well, you know what? I'm not, I can't even limit this to just women. Okay. I think that extracurricular activities is definitely a high up thing on the list of things to do to yeah. de-stress. Okay. Here. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a, a huge, like, you know, birth rate and, uh, you know, a lot of children, a lot of oh, pregnant, oh, a lot of pregnant oh, women. I didn't get what you were saying. Oh, y'all so didn't you're understand. talking about extra oh, extracurricular activities. So, yes, all, say, the, all, all, all I think us. about, hold on, all I think it. about is you with that big hat. Because nobody here, no Dominican person wears those big, big sun hats. Big sun hats. Tim, sun hats. Timmy rocking around the town in this big, Sun hat so, with Punta Cana on it. Look at this! It's basically Come got tourists on the front. <laughs>